combos as well because up B will just go straight to the battle to the uh, like the mid, the lower platforms, stopping right, her so combos. Already, Chosen L doing the smart thing, trying to charge up as much of his limit break as possible. And man, he is throwing out these side B's. They're putting so much pressure. And it's a really good way to put on a lot of pressure, and as well. Keeps Bayonetta in a spot where she's taking one a lot of damage, a lot of early game damage, but uh, it does like 17 19 percent. Uh, these guys have not played against each other with these characters yet, so this is a brand new experience. And she can attack you if she's constantly in shield, and he's staling out the move like crazy, but he's putting up the damage, so he has plenty of kill moves to work with. So he's man, so Miho really needs to figure out a way how to deal with this. Cross slash. I mean, really, he just, just doesn't know what to do with his out of shield options. Uh, oop, ended up trying to get the combo, but that is not guaranteed. Uh, and neither is down throw anything. So, out of shield, everyone knows Bayonetta does not have a very great grab, but uh, her she can up B out of shield. Yeah. So, as long as you are using that, it covers both sides. There's the witch time and the up smash. Any follow up? No, there is not. I mean, which time is very, very powerful, but you have to know exactly how to optimize yourself and use it properly. Yeah, if you have like a very long-lasting move, uh, her she'll actually clank with smash attacks. A lot of things actually clank with her smash attacks. It's very weird. Oh, oh punish them not, with the forward smash, saying, "Hey, you got to get those confirmed, guaranteed down bees. So Otherwise, I'm gonna punish you for it. Everything in this matchup was all according to plan. Guess not, because he wanted just to build up some rage, but he's gonna be dying right there. Really great up air as well, knowing that you have, when you have a five frame up air, they go for something that isn't guaranteed. It's an easy way to end up turning the situation around for you. So it looks like Miho uh, isn't optimizing uh, after his throws. She doesn't really have any like super great throw combos, but at very low percent, you can up throw it to up B. At, um, if you can actually mix them up and jump as well, and if they air dodge down air. Chosen L ended up using his limit break there while getting shot with those bullets. It's one of those matches where you can definitely see Miho still trying to get to accustomed to what to do actually in battle. He's keeping up fairly well. Yeah, Bayonetta's an extremely good character to put up damage, but she's not the safest person, but it doesn't look like Chosen is going to be able to punish her, except for right now. Well, he tried to end up using a Witch Time right there. Grounded Witch Time definitely is going to help him out quite a bit. Another side B for more damage. And that's what I was talking about earlier with the picking Dreamland and Battlefield as a counter pick. Because uh, Smashville is like flat except for the one platform. And oh, oh man, he's having a little bit of a hard time landing right now. But earlier he's able to land with the uh, quarter circle down B. And also you can use your up B as a third jump. Oh, ended up trying to use down air right there. Ended up trading. There's the witch time and, and the up smash. It. That should do it right there. That's all you need. Getting some... Very, very easy confirmed kill options, which time can t turn the tides of battle very easily. Miho's feeling himself. Definitely has everybody watching. People are very, very interested to see what Bayonetta can do. Even, I mean, that's the thing about uh, which time has moves that even in uh, situations where people are brand new to the character and, uh, you know, she has a lot of different combos that she can use, a lot of different setups and mix ups. At the end of the day, if you end up getting which time, at high percent, you can close out a stock. And when people start optimizing which time, um, like at high percent, obviously smash attack just kind of kills. But at lower percents, you can go crazy on, on down uh, side beats. And as I said earlier, picking that counter pick on battlefield, it's going to be really hard for Bayonetta to land. And especially with these cross slashes that he's doing, sending him a little bit upwards, he's going to have to try to land on the uh, platforms. Well, free witch time, but he's not going to do too much with it. Goes just for some damage, sets himself up with that jab combo. And he does it again, getting these consistent witch times, knowing that on the platform, all that's going to happen is Chosen L is going to attack. He keeps trying to go with these cross slashes. It's not working out all that well. I mean, when you have just one fundamental uh, move that you're going to be using, it's easy to adapt. Yeah, but Miho kind of needs to adapt a little bit faster, but he, there's some good adaptation right there with the Nuff Smash. Uh, up tilt also is really good um, for Bayonetta because it does reach the platform. Another witch time into an up smash, and that is going to kill. Luckily, he was on that platform, had him pretty high up. 
one of the things too is that Witch Time refreshes one second of Witch Time every 12 seconds. So even though he's used it a few times, as long as he doesn't use it for 12 seconds, he will have one second of Witch Time restored back to him. So it's going to be pretty easy for him to get these setups all over again. This is a situation where Chosen L has done very well trying to get uh, Miho, catch Miho landing into the ground or into these platforms. Chosen L really needs to secure this stock right now. Because Bayonetta's just going to keep continuously put up damage. She's not the best character with Rage, but he's reaching a little bit too hard for that. Nice punish for that missed uh, limit break right there. Forward smash just for some damage. Oh. That Free! might do it. Free! Yes. If you continuously keep moving, uh, using an attack move in the neutral like that, he is continuously putting Bayonetta in a corner. Of course, you know that he's. Doing